Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you, you are and welcome uh, to Wind Down Friday in this new episode. Today, our guest is uh, Dennis Marcon, General Manager at InnoScience. Hi Dennis, welcome board. how are you? Hello Mauricio, very good, thank you very much. Good, so where, where are you located, Dennis? Which part yeah. of the So I'm located in Belgium, in Leuven, so a small city nearby Brussels. Okay, good. Nice place. Yes. As you know, I come initially from Italy, but I moved here 20 years ago so far. So Yeah. So, Dennis, you have a PhD in uh, engineering. Maybe you can tell us uh, more about the, the topic. Uh, I guess that was uh, reliability, in particular, again, reliability. So, and you have been also... Uh, leading several projects to in terms of GAN to, de to develop GAN HAMPS. So can you share about uh, a bit about your career path in your academic background uh, and business uh, development? What inspired you to focus on GAN and not Sirion Garbide, for example? So who has been your mentor? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good... Actually, I started on GAN like uh, 20 years ago, uh, by chance, as a master thesis student, mm -hmm. I knew nothing about GAN. I only started discovering it. And uh, during those years, actually, then I, after the master thesis, I continue on the PhD on reliability of that. And during those years, it was uh, fully exploratory. Like uh, people did not know how the device were failing, mm -hmm. which are the failed mode. And it was very, very exciting to discover. And that is what the PhD is about. And so do it, that was, let's say, the fun part during the academic year. And uh, I think I contributed, let's say, to the uh, improving the knowledge on the reliability of GAN on that. Um, I then moved indeed on the project management side. I was a project manager for IMEC mm -hmm. for uh, a great project, which was called actually Great 2 uh, with, uh, with ASA. Uh, and that is is where I learned to, to focus, let's say, to a certain specification. It was very exciting, the idea of putting gun device in the space, so where reliability is a must. And as life often uh, offers you opportunities, let's say, there was an, uh, afterwards there was an opportunity of IMAC to move into business. I was fascinated by business. And, uh, and basically, IMAC, they were looking for people with solid background that they could mm -hmm learn let's say the business side and it took me a little bit of years to to become good at that or if i'm good at that let's say a little more comfortable on this <laughs> and uh, this is let's say my trajectory and regarding the mentors i i have several mentors on the technical side who told me to go really deep in the understanding and not only have flagging issues but once you flag the issue have the solution for that and on the business side, who taught me how to, let's say, do business, what business really means, which is not, let's say, just uh, selling goods. And also on the leadership side, how to be a leader, let's say, an inspirational leader and move people, let's say, motivate people. This one, let's say, in, in a nutshell. Good. Great. So let's talk about GAN, uh, GAN devices. So how do you see the, the planet, the landscape, uh, evolving in the next uh, years, maybe three, five years, not so much, I guess. But what are some emerging applications that you see market that uh, you see where could have uh, a great impact? How So where do you see challenges also in terms of devices, substrate? Uh, so there are a lot. Also reliability, as you mentioned. Yeah, that's... Uh... that's uh... So in, in terms of market, so today I see myself that the gun market is literally booming. Uh, the charger where, let's say, the first uh, wave and still uh, you see gun charger everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, there are even mentioned that in the when you buy a charger with gun. So I'm very happy to see that. I see the next wave of, uh, let's say, market to industrial and uh, like a motor drive and also like uh, uh, white goods in general. So I see a proliferation of gun everywhere, and and the reason is always the same. You make any power system solution smaller and uh, more efficient, and also cheaper because you make uh, the passive smaller. You remove heat sink. So I really see this happening as we speak right now. 
I think eventually, since you mentioned three to five years, eventually we're going to see gun in automotive. It's taking longer because it's normal in automotive to have longer cycle, let's say, on that. But eventually it will go there. Um, in terms of challenges, to be frank with you, I think the, the challenge is to reduce the cost of the device. This is what we have been doing and uh, heads on on that. We really are focused on that. Mm -hmm. And this one is not only in, improve, let's say, your manufacturing process, but also how to make the device smaller, deal with uh, heat challenges. So I think this is where the, the, the challenge is to, to be able. We are already close to silicon in terms of price, but I think people want to go even beyond that. So without, of course, sacrificing performance yep. and reliability, which is a must. So you um, you are general manager at InnoScience, InnoScience Europe, so InnoScience, yes. so managing leadership rule and demanding projects is uh, is a challenge, can be challenging. So how do you maintain a healthy work-life balance? So what uh, strategy, so in general, have helped you to stay focused and uh, energized uh, throughout your career? Yeah, so the... To maintain a healthy work-life balance, so that's a big challenge. I think my luck is like to have a family. I think that helps you, force you to be at home for dinner and to put, let's say, the kids to sleep. At least you have that couple of hours that are devoted to that before you go back, let's say, to keep thinking. You never stop thinking. That's, the I think, mm -hmm. the, the only problem. But you try to help on that. What helped me to stay focused or... Uh, Energized, they say, I think it sounds like a cliche, but I like to wake up early in the morning. That's uh, something. And uh, sometimes I check emails. Sometimes I do, let's say, a small run. Uh, that, I think, is a nice moment. And it gives you really a nice energy on that. And, uh, and meanwhile, you keep thinking, let's say, about a possible issue that you have to solve, etc. But I think that is something, a habit that I, I've been developing over the years. And regarding the stay focus, I'm a, a big planner. I try to plan everything. So once you have a strategy in place, uh, I like to plan. Once you have a plan in place, which can be for work, but also for uh, family, then you, you know that things will happen. And uh, I'm a big fan of it. I think that's what I'm doing. Great. So, but beyond job, so tell us more about, uh, about you. So what are your... Your hobbies. What do you like uh, to do during the weekend with uh, with your family? You live in Belgium, as you said. So maybe you missing Italian food and drink. Yeah, for sure, I miss Italian food, especially wine. I come from a region mm -hmm. where wine is really a religious. Which wine? Religion. Yeah, is uh, my wine is Valpolicella, the one that mm -hmm. I prefer, and Prosecco. Those are the two ones that uh, I like. They are from from Veneto. And uh, but indeed, besides missing wine that I import every year, let's say from uh, Italy, uh, normally in the weekend I spend time, let's say, with the kids. They both play football, so that is uh, devoting, let's say, to watching them. And uh, I ex it's pretty exciting, let's say, to see how they develop on this. Uh, regarding really personal hobby for me, uh, I play basketball. That's something I play every Monday. Uh, yeah. Let's say. Never matter what happened at home, I'm gone on Monday evening to play basketball. That's really my big hobby. And Do you have a favorite team in, for basket or football? Ooh la la, for football, if I say it, that, that is not political. <laughs> in in Italy, is a favorite football is Juventus. Okay, good. Good and, choice. Uh, and in US, the Golden State Warriors, those are the, the two teams, let's say, I'm following uh, basket and... Uh, <laughs> Good, good. So, Dennis, thank you. So, in conclusion, Dennis, so just my my last one, my last one question. So, looking yeah. forward, so what are some of your personal professional aspirations for the next years, next few years, a couple of years? So, if there is a specific, is, is there a specific direction or area of exploration within a semiconductor technology that you have particularly excited to, to follow? Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm devoted, let's say, to uh, gallium nitride and also to InnoScience since I took uh, mm -hmm. this job say, two years ago. 
And today, really, my focus and my aspiration today is to see the growing of the gang market, I mean, to contribute to that, so to uh, to still convince, let's say, companies that did not move yet in GAN or to support the ones that already do that. I really want to see this revolution happening as it is happening right now. And knowing that this is not only the technolo technological part that is exciting to see this new product based on GAN, but we're also going to help, let's say, in reducing the CO2 emission, let's say, by having higher efficiency. And uh, as a part of my company, you know, I saw you know, science growing from 10 people to 1,600 people when I joined. And actually, it's pretty exciting to see it growing and contributing to the growth of this company. So this is where is my focus on and what I will uh, work day and night for. Great. So thank you, Dennis. Thanks a lot for joining us at Wind Down Friday. So see you, see you next. See you at PSIM, probably. And uh, take care. Ciao, Dennis. Absolutely. Ciao, Mauricio. Thank you.